Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to execute our collection through the command line. So let's begin. In order to run our collections through the command line, we need to download and install Node.js with the npm and then we will download and install the new man using the npm. Here npm is basically a node package manager okay so once this has been installed successfully we will export our collection from the postman and run that collection through command line using the new man okay so now uh, let's open the browser and see how we can download and install the node.js with the npm in browser what you need to do is that you need to search for node.js just go to this address bar and type download node.js and press enter and here you see the first link here this is the official link and if you go through this description here it says that the latest version includes npm as well so this means that you don't need to download and install the npm separately okay just click on this link here you will find the different platforms and operating systems you can choose as per your requirement you also need to select between 32 and 64 bit okay and you need to click on this one okay so once you click on this it will start downloading the file and once it has been downloaded okay just like this one it start downloaded okay now what you need to do is that you need to just click on this file it will start the setup there's a very simple setup few steps and you can easily install the node JS in your system. I have already installed node in my system so I don't need to open this file okay but once you have installed the node.js successfully you need to verify this one as well okay for this what you need to do is that you need to open the command prompt and here you need to type node-v okay just press enter if the version appears in the command prompt this means that node is successfully installed in your machine similarly for npm just type npm dash v okay and if you see the version then again npm is installed successfully now we are ready to install new man on our machine in order to install the new man in your machine just type npm here okay npm install minus g new man and press enter okay so it will start installing the new man in your machine okay if you have already new man in your machine you don't need to worry about that what it will do is that this command will install the latest version on your machine so you can see that it has installed and updated the package as well because it was already installed on my machine and it also shows the location here so if you want to see the location okay just go to this location and you can find the new man files now from the postman what we need to do is that we need to export the collection for this example i am using this pre-script collection just click on these three dots okay click on export then click on export again and now you need to choose the folder i have already created a new man collection folder here and I will save the file here. One thing you need to ensure is that there shouldn't be any spaces in your collection name. Okay, else it will not execute. Save this file. Okay, now open this folder and you will see the collection here. Okay, just right click on this one, click on properties and copy this path from here. Okay, open the command prompt from here and type cd provide the url which we copied just now press enter now we are standing in this particular folder okay now type new man then type run and provide the name of that particular collection so i'm copying the name from here and provide the name here and press enter so it will start executing your collection and you see that it has executed successfully it provides all the delays that the name of your collection the request you executed number of iterations request 
test scripts, pre-scripts, sessions. It also provides you the total run duration, okay, average response time. So that's how you can run your collection through the command. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you have learned something today. See you in the next lecture.